Digging out the correct amount for your patio is most critical. Not digging out enough could end up in having to relay your paving and in worst case could cause structural problems inside the house. Most properties will have a damp proof course or what is commonly referred to as a DPC. This is usually laid between two brick courses to stop damp from rising up into the property. It's essential that your paving is not laid too close to this damp proof course. Count down two full bricks from your DPC or 150 millimeters. The finished height of your patio should not be above this level. Mark down a further 150 to 160 millimeters from this point. This is the level that you need to dig out to. This will allow for the slab around 20 millimeters, the laying mortar around 40 millimeters, and then finally 100 millimeters of subbase. The soil at the bottom of the excavated area should be firm. Check with your heel, if it sinks in, it's too soft, and you'll have to dig out more until you hit firm ground. You will also need to consider the fall of the patio. This is so water can run off the surface of the paving. The fall should be one in 60, so for every 60 centimeters of paving, the drop should be one centimeter. For example, if your patio is 3 metres, then one end should be 5 centimetres lower than the other end. Hammer the peg into the ground until the top is at the level of the finished paving height. Hammer another peg where the patio will finish and run a string line between the two pegs. Ensure the string slopes down from the building to the edge of the patio. Some spirit levels are already marked at 1 in 60 which makes getting the correct fall much easier. As you can see on the illustration, and due to the fall, more needs to be dug out at the edge to ensure the correct level of subbase and bedding mortar. Now that you're happy with the levels and the correct fall, the subbase can be tipped in. MOT Type 1 is the best material to use and can be purchased from your local builders merchants in bulk bags or delivered to your property loose on a tipper lorry. Spread the subbase out to about 30 millimeters below the string line. Using a vibrating plate, compact the sub base down. This is one of the most important factors when installing a patio. Poor compaction and not enough sub base will leave you with areas of the paving sinking. Compact down to 60 millimeters below the string line. You may need to top up with more stone. So just check in, 100 millimeters of sub base leaves 60 millimeters for the bedding mortar and the paving. Regularly check to make sure the whole area has the correct levels. Spend plenty of time compacting your subbase, passing the plate over the whole area at least seven times, and don't worry, you can never overcompact. For more installation hints and tips, visit the website pavestone.co.uk.